Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive here on the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a new mod. If my keys will work. There you go, we're going to be looking at the Brokel Cardera. Now there is, uh, what is that, 15 editions I'm guessing, around 15. So we're just going to be starting out with the 1969 base model of the Brokel Cardera. Now this, these uh, line of vehicles, they have a distinct look to the Dodge Charger, if you can't really see it, but it it's a good mod overall, like, this isn't the fastest version as you may be able to tell, uh, it's, it's only the 69 version, but um, I am going to spawn up a 1970 edition of the Brokel Cardera, if I am pronouncing that right, keep in mind I probably am not, but... I'm going to take a look at some of the similarities of the Bruckle. First of all, let's look at the, the oh can I get down here, there you go. Let's look at the uh, front grill slash bumper. Now, as you see on the 69, there is two, there is, I'm going to say two over here, there's two circular headlights. Over here, there's two square headlights. And as you may be able to tell, there's no uh, chrome middle, there's just a line that goes straight through. Which right here, there's no line, it's just a vertical um, chrome. Now also, I'm going to go to the back, as you see here, the lights, or let me go to the back on this one, the lights, basically the same, except this one has a little chrome piece, and also the, this one right here has one exhaust pipe, over and there's nothing here, this has two because this has a higher, uh, it's faster, as you may be able to tell by the acceleration with this. Uh, I'm just going to take it up this ramp here right quick. See how it performs on this. I don't think it'll have a problem. But, yeah, as you may be able to tell. Well, if my driving wasn't so bad, but... Um, let's take a look at the interior of the 69 right quick. As you see, it's just what you would expect. Everything works. Everything you'd want to work. The gas, clutch, brake. Shifter doesn't move, I don't think. Let me see here. No, the shifter doesn't move. Everything on the dashboard moves, and I'm going to switch to the 70 edition. This actually... Would you stop rolling? What is it doing? It's just rolling? Alright, so I don't know what it was doing there, but um, as you can see, there's a shifter on the, uh, the in the middle of the seats here. I think it's the console, what they call it. And over here, there's no shifter. The shifter is right there in the middle, or on the console. That's the console on the, where the wheel's at. Oh, excuse me there. So, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see how long it takes us to get up to 60 miles per hour, or 60 miles per hour. So, I have a little timer up on my phone. I'll put a timer up on the screen if I can, actually. I don't believe I'll be able to, but I'm going to time it. So, I'll be right back when I get that set up. Alright, so I got the timer ready, and in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, I will uh, say when we hit 10 seconds, which it shouldn't be 10 seconds, er, actually. <laughs> it's been 10, 11, come on, and 16 seconds. So, reset that. Now, let's get this one. So, keep in mind, that one was 16 seconds. Now, this one, I'm going to guess about 70 seven to eight seconds it's not the most powerful one of the card or the bro the card eras but reset and make sure it stopped go yeah this one look at that and seven seconds 7.56 seconds so as you there's like um it took it took the 69 edition half the it took, it took the 70 edition half the time than, than the 69 took. So that's interesting, to say the least. So now I'm going to spawn up two more of the other editions, and I will be right back when I get them spawned up. All right, so what we have here is the... Actually, let me just show you what we have, because I probably forgot. This first one is the Wart, and then the other one we have the 1968 Hemi edition. So this one this one packs power under it. And the 68 Hemi, as you would guess, packs the same amount of power. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test and see how long it takes it to get up to 60 miles per hour. 
with the timer again. So I'm going to turn it around. And also, when I get them parked over here, I'm going to show you the differences in these. Because these have some differences we haven't seen yet. Which, yeah, this one is quick on the draw. Is that the saying? I think that's the saying. Oh. <laughs> Did we just deflate? What are you doing? Excuse you, I'm ra I'm driving over here. Excuse me! Look at this burnout. This thing is insane. Alright, so I'm just gonna line this one up and uh, reset this one. Where did that look? Okay, that one's up there. I'm just gonna reset this one right up here. And... Boom. Parking brake. Parking brake. So... As you can see here, this one has circular lights when this one doesn't even have a rear bumper. And this one has two circular lights up here. Nothing in the middle, though. This one has nothing. Um, interior, um, this one has a racing wheel. Um, down there is a shifter. And, uh, why'd I do that? And in here, you got a different racing wheel. Shifter stood on there. But there's no, there's nothing, like, in here or anything. Which, in here, there's still seats. But... Notice right here, paneling. No paneling. Interesting. But, now it comes for the test. So, three, two, one, go. This one shouldn't take too long since it's the Hemi. Or will it? There we go. 7.23 seconds. So now, well, see you, dude. <laughs> he's, he's out of here. Get back here. I'll put the parking brake on him. So, we're going to reset this one. This one, it might, it think it's going to burn out a lot. So, three, two, one, go. It didn't burn out as much as I thought it would. And, 5.90 seconds. So, this one is the fastest version we've had, which, which makes sense. Um, I think it's more like a stripped version of it. Like, just because the, the, the hood's not gone, so I don't know. Also, if you want to, to take the hood off these cars... Well, that one actually just came right off, but this one over here... It's, it, it's difficult to get these off because... I don't know, just the physics, but... Yeah, as you can see, the engines... I mean, uh, well, yeah. This one has a different engine than this one over here. I don't really know the engines, but... I'm actually going to switch maps. I'm going to go to Jungle Rock Island, and I'm going to test out some driving capabilities of these vehicles. I will be right back. Alright, so I changed my mind. We're in East Coast, USA, and I'm going to spawn... We've already tested these, so I'm going to spawn up the 1970 Dodge Charger RT Automatic, which I know it doesn't say RT, but hey, I don't care. So I am going to be using my wheel for this, so you might hear the wheel whine a little bit, so just prepare for that. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what's the problem with it. It's just, I guess, Thrustmaster. But th this car handles really good. The the other cars d don't handle so well, and I'll show you the, the first version of uh, just driving around like this. But it's, it's a nice drive, especially with this one. I like the wide body, which I'll show you here in a minute. This one gets up to speed. I can't I think it's top speed's like 120. I don't recommend doing that through these corners though. Just take it kind of easy. Which this wheel is, or this game is way easier with a wheel! Oh, there's a crash if anybody wanted to see one. Let me pull this out in the road. Oh, that ain't gonna work, but as you can see, it crashes decently well. There's a couple spiky parts. But other than that, it's pretty good. So, now I'm gonna spawn in the default base model and I'm gonna change the color to red orange place current yeah there we go as you can see the start off is very different there's the wheel if you didn't know what I was talking about sorry so this is a more sensible street car I guess you could say yeah it's it's slow it's not even up to 60 yet so this one doesn't it does not perform anything close to what we was just driving so as soon as I get it up to 80 or 70 I'm gonna just crash it into a tree 
but it, it handles decently well for these tight corners. Oh wait, here we go. And throw some slow motion. There you go. Look at that. And we'll speed it back up. Whoa, that was perfect. I didn't want it to go off the cliff. Can I drag it over here? Yeah, look. Look at it. Let's look at it from the inside. You know, I think you're going to be okay. If, if he was in that crash. I mean, I don't know. Because it looks like only the radiator and the front uh, left tire got uh, damaged in that. So, you know, not too hefty of a crash. But we'll respawn that. And we'll bring in a new one that I haven't showed yet. We will bring in the wide body edition. I love this one. Look at this. It has wider tires, so it has to have like a wider body kit. And also something else. See, there's no hood here. But the thumbnail, there's a hood. So what I am going to do, I am going to put a hood on it to match the thumbnail. Just for showing off purposes. So let me find it here. Body. Hood. We'll put the 1970 cut hood. Is that what we want? No. Um. <laughs> wait, uh, beer back. Oh, never mind, never mind. I will put the 1970 hood on it. There you go. So, as you can see, same as the thumbnail. Perfect. So, little differences here I'm going to notice before I start driving it. There is two pipes on the side here instead of something on the back. So there's just little holes here, which don't really look that nice. Something that doesn't really look nice. You can can you see how this just like curves out and curves back in? This here just stops. It's like a bre it looks like a breather or something. And also this edition has a roll cage and on the inside there's no passenger back seats and there's a GPS up here. So those are some things to take note. Also, you see this little fin here? You see how you can see through it? Well, no, it's you can see through it, but it's there's something actually there. It's actually like a, pl a clear plastic. See these little things here, these little things holding it up. That's how I can tell. So as you can see, this thing is very, very vicious. I can't even control the wide bodies. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. Cause that is just way too quick. Whoa. Calm your roll. I'm barely hitting the gas. This thing has so much power. Look at this, I'm flooring it now. Oh. Yeah, this is not okay. I'm doing my best to control this with a wheel, no, mind you. I don't have a controller. If I had a controller for this game, I'd actually be using it, but... My controller... My computer thinks my controller is a mouse, so that's great. And there's your crash, and we're going off the cliff. You know what? I'm just going to break it in half. Oh, God! Fire much? So basically, it got up to speed in like 4.5 seconds. I didn't, I didn't time it, but that's just what I got out of it. Alright, so next we have the detective version of the Bruckel Cardera. This one is a much simpler edition. It's got a tow hitch in the back. It's got two pipes in the back. It's got circular headlights. I'm guessing this is about a 69 model. And it's got a little police light, which I do not know how to turn on. So, it's a quite... um quick might I mind and actually I'm gonna go somewhere else and spawn this up not right there uh, there's a town here I'll just spawn it up right here there we go so just drive around the town I think there's a bridge I want to crash it into up here somewhere if I, th if I know where I'm at but yeah this this um, version handles pretty nicely say that as I crash <laughs> But yeah, this version handles pretty nicely if you know what you're doing, unlike me. So, I'm just going to drive until I crash. And as you can see, this one gets up to speed really quick too. But it's not as it's not as spinny as the other one, because the other one, I honestly don't know why it spun out. I'm trying to be smart here with cars, but I'm really not. So, this one's just a... It's a big old pile of shit. Yep, there it went. We're taking it off-roading now and into the tree. Beautiful. Look at that. Little spike, little, little spikiness in the windshield, but, you know, that's normal for a windshield and BMNG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to respawn it right there. That's actually a nice parking if I was in Britain. So next up on the list, we have the Drift build. 
as you may be able to tell, this is a Drift Edition with Crate, my favorite color. This color is crazy purple. Look at this. This car is insane. Listen to the. I think it's nice. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to crash this thing. It's just so beautiful. Oh Jesus. It's it's really powerful though. I'll say I'll give it that. Oh my God. Look at this thing take off. I can't control it. It's all over the road. Yep. Just crash. Why don't you? So just drive it down there. Yep. That was beautiful. Well, it got caught on the tree. So you basically get the point. This is a drift version. I'm just trying to get one. Really good high speed crash out of it, hopefully going over 60 or 70. Which I think should be fairly easy, counting how much torque and speed this thing has. So here we go, floor it, see what happens. That was shit. Well, you got that crash. Here, I'll put it in reverse and see what happens. Crash into this rock up here, maybe? Yeah. Wow, it's a rock crawler. That's look at the back. Yeah. That's a good crash. That's a good crash. So next we have the drag edition. Now, this is a straight road right here. It's a I think it's a good place for it. If I can get off of the curb, the tire is stuck in the curb. Fantastic. Put this right here. Where am I at? Facing the wrong way. Good job, game. Oh! Well, as you may be able to tell, this thing is a little frisky. So, I'm going to respawn that. Oh my god. And I'm going to take off in three. <laughs> three, two, one, go. It has a wheelie bar for a reason. Oh, yep. And no, nothing, nothing. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, this thing is not driving. Wait. We took the engine out. Ah, Craigslist. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that again, hopefully not die in a fatal car accident. Hold it. Hold it straight. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Turn it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're one with the tree now. We are one with the tree, ladies and gentlemen. That was fantastic. So, next on the list, we have the 1969 Dodge Charger 500. And this one, he actually puts in Charger. So you know. But... I'm just going to drive it down this road like we was earlier, and I'm actually going to turn here because I haven't went down this way yet. I think it just circles around though, so. Rear right tire's already been deflated. That is fantastic. Good job, game. So I'm going to take it a little kind of peaceful right now. As you can see, this thing's power happy too. And I'm going to crash into this house right up here. Or the light pole, second best thing. And we can still drive, but there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no tires to steer us. So we're just going to drive back and forth. So I'm going to respawn it here in the yard. It's actually not bad parking, if you ask me. I mean, I, I'm going to keep on, oh, I hit my mic. Also, I got a new mic, by the way, if you guys can't tell. Um, I'm going to, there's a, something going to be happening. I'm gonna I'm binge recording videos for the next three days. So I'll have her videos recorded for like four weeks. So this mic might not I'm not gonna keep it for I'm gonna keep it for only a week. So you guys will probably be hearing a different mic in about a month if I'm not too lazy and don't record. I'm planning on recording for for a month's worth of videos. That's maybe thirty videos. So um, I, I'm trying to make the content better. I know my mic, my headset mic wasn't the best. Um, I've recently changed recording softwares, as you can see in the video. It's a lot more clear and crisper and sharper. I'm trying to make the mic a little bit better. 
but I'm just borrowing this off my uh, girlfriend, I guess you could say, and crash it into the tree. Beautiful. So let me pull this out in the road, and we'll spawn in the next edition of the Brokel Cardera, or Dodge Charger, whatever you prefer. Look at that. That was that was nice. I I like that. All right, and next we have the F8 Ice Racer Edition with a different version of the wide body. Now, this one is a little odd, might I add. I'm going to see if I can take it through here, which I do not think I can. But as you may be able to tell, the things in the back where the trunk is supposed to be, I have no earthly clue what that is. I don't think I want to know what that is. And as you can see, the uh, fender flares stick out like a sore thumb. And there's also a different roll cage that adds more support, I guess. So I'm going to see if I can get a nice rollover crash, which I highly doubt. And we broke the game. Fantastic. I'm going to keep going here. Which this thing gets up to speed real quick. We're already at 60 miles per hour. And it, it handles decently. You know, don't, don't, don't even listen to me. It... But this thing handles decently well if you're if you know how to drive which apparently I do not but as you may be able to tell this has a different color interior with a different uh, wood uh, dashboard paneling I guess you could call it so I'm gonna see if I can get a good side crash or I'm gonna see if I can roll it up on these no I can't I can't roll it up on the rocks um, I wish I could crash it off that cliff there, but I didn't think about it at the time. We drifted around this corner. Beautiful. So this one handles better than the other ones. From what I have seen, as you can see, I'm still going at like 80 around these corners. And I'm just going to floor it, and I'm going to see what happens, which will probably not be the best idea, but hey, it's a video game. And slide it into the... Oh... Look at it, it's it's still intact, kind of. Oh, yeah, that, that roll cage. It does you some good, uh, it does you some good, which... I'm gonna respawn on the bridge. That was not a good spawn. Yep. Up here. Oh, just go in the water, why don't you? Beautiful. Spawn you right there. <laughs> there we go, so... The next version. I'll be right back. Alright, so next, we have the Showstopper. And this is probably my favorite, or one of my favorites, if it doesn't go in the water. As you can see, it's got the wide body, that the first wide body we've seen, with a roll cage. Um, it's got the, the light on top from the detective, I think it was called. And it's got the power from the first wide body. So, it's basically a wide body that's just modified a bit. Which, I like it. It's still a good version of the mod. You can't handle it worth a shit, but hey. Yep. There's a crash, and actually, I see an opportunity. I'm gonna go off-roading in this, and show you guys its off-roading capabilities, because this thing is made for off-roading. If you cannot tell, that's why it's so low to the ground, you know? I mean, look at this. It's a crawler, right? 10 out of 10 crawler. I actually did that pretty well. Let's go over this. Oh, yeah. Totally. No, we're not stuck. We're not stuck. He, he just... He needs a little life motivation. Where'd he go? That is not a car. I don't know what that is. But I can assure you that that is not a car. So you, s so we have one more edition. I'm gonna skip this one since it's just a souped-up version of this one. This is the 1969 Day Day Tor Day Tora Speed. Do not know what Day Tora means. I might be pronouncing that wrong once again. But it's off topic. I'm gonna take it down through here. You know, it's just a little, little, a little off-roading trip. This one it is not made for off-roading like the last one was. <laughs> It's a uh, not the most off-road capability car, which this road does go to a 
asphalt every now and then, so, you know, it's, it's kind of good. But it's managing, it's managing, oh, rip. Which the road is right up there, come on reverse, you can do it, I believe. Nothing on it's damaged, besides the frame, which I actually, I'm just gonna respawn it. That was dumb, I didn't think I could do that. But, um, this one handles really nicely, though. Never mind, you pile of crap. So I take back what I said, that one does not handle nicely at all, but this has, uh, this is probably one of my favorite mods to this day. Um, I've had it for about a week or so now, I've been, I've been doing stuff with it, you know, thought I'd make a video on it, but if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like, and if you guys didn't enjoy the video, please... Please be honest and dislike and tell me what you guys want to see out of these types of BMNG videos, what mods you guys want to see, and so on and so and so on and so forth. <laughs> but guys, this has been Coda667. I will see you on the next one. Ciao!